Hello. How's it going? Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for not putting out this video even remotely close to when it was done. Um, just after I did the battle, I kind of got busy and then also kind of forgot to do the video. So that's on me a little bit. <laughs> Um, I think I'll do another video talking about me, uh, um, this video, nope, this channel moving forward. Um, but either way, we're just going to look at this one first. So my opponent for the quarterfinals of the IBL Season 4 playoffs was Zex, coach of the Toronto Star Raptors. We're just doing this all in one, team builder and all. Um, with Trakion, Suicune, Fortress, Swallow, Drapion, Gligar, Shuckle, Megalodios, Raikou, Mimikyu, Moltres, and Viloplume. Z users being... Um, Mimikyu, Terrakion, and Moltres. So this is not the same team that I faced um, earlier in the season. I actually helped him change up his team a lot, adding like Raikou and Mimikyu and I think Vileplume uh, to kind of speed up his team, make it a little bit less passive and bulky um, in exchange for a lot more offense. Oh, and then Swallow over x -Blob. And this team is a lot more intimidating than the one I faced, which was a very close battle anyway. Um, we're just going to run through my team again because it's probably... Well, it's been a while. <laughs> For both of us. Not like it's super... Actually, it doesn't matter. We're just going to bring in the Poke Paste. Um, and I'm going to have to move it around a little bit because it doesn't fit the screen perfectly. But I don't really... I have the replay matched well in the frame, so I don't want to move that around. So I've got Shields down Minior, who I was hoping um, could either break or sweep, depending how the game played out, but with Shell Smash, Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Hidden Power Fire with uh, Rocky and Z, I could one-shot pretty much the entire team, barring um, one of the two between Suicune and Vileplume if they were both high health. That's what I would have to burn the Z on. And I was kind of debating whether I should do uh, White Herb with acrobatics for that reason but then i guarantee lose the 1v1 versus suicune whereas this i get a 50 50 on taking one of them out and then as long as i chipped the other one uh, early in the game i'd been fine um to proceed to sweep and then we have high dragon with safety goggles kind of for the stun and sleep powders and spores from Vila plume uh roost taunt dark pulse and dragon breath that's also my coon answer giving me potential paralysis on Dragon Breath, especially on like the Terrakian uh, switch in, if he's to go for that on my predicted Dark Pulse, and then Roost and Taunt. We have Bulu, which is Kaiba Berry, which is, um, it has poison damage for a poison jab Terrakion, otherwise Subhorn, Leech, Rock Slide, and Nature's Madness for Violet Plume. Mawile is just another pretty much attack dealing set with some bulk with Rock Slide for Moltres, Ice Punch for Gligar and Violet Plume, Play Rough for everything else, and then Sucker Punch for Priority. Um, and I guess I'm going to move this up a little bit with the last two. Needle King being just Life Orb, Stealth Rock, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Earth Power pretty much takes on its entire team, outspeeding, I think, Min Speed, Suicune, or with like 12 investment. And then Slowbro with Regenerator, obviously, Scald, Ice Beam, Toxic, and Slack Off. This is the only set that I brought the first battle to. However, I also have a Jack button on it. Um, pretty much just Toxic for everything. Hopefully, I can catch Kuhn on the switch end because, um, obviously, if it gets a sub up, Slowbro can't touch it. But that's why I had Dragon's Taunt set. Um, a jack button was to be if he brings on Terrakion early game, I'd be able to go into Slowbro and then pivot maybe into Minior or Mawile, um, potentially Bulu to get up a sub, or Needle King to just start dealing damage. So there was the team, and then this is the battle. So on preview, this was, I think, exactly the team I was expecting him to bring. Um, and I was expecting him to lead either Gligar or Terrakion. And in my mind, Suicune was good against every lead besides potentially Mega... Well, like Latios, obviously, I couldn't lead well against, or Terrakion. But Terrakion, I could switch out into Slowbro, get that um, eject button, and then get in the mod I want. So I didn't think that was a big deal. Really, the only thing that um, Hydreigon doesn't come in well or start well in against is Mimikyu. And I've never seen a Mimikyu lead in my life. <laughs> Um, so I was like, okay, that's fine. Like people like to keep their disguises for late game to sweep. 
Um, however, I think I faced the first person on Earth to uh, actually... Uh, let me turn the music off. To actually lead Mimic you. And so for that, I go hard into Mawile to get the Intimidate. I was expecting him to go play rough, just to straight out of the gate do some damage. Um, and, and so let me kind of flesh out why I didn't think he'd lead Mimic you, because this is actually a pretty important part of the game. Um, obviously, the disguise on Mimic you is always important, especially since I have the Kydragon that outspeeds it, and then like Minior he saw. So I thought he'd be fearing like sweeping, that he wants to keep the disguise intact for that. Um, and I'm a very pivot heavy team, which obviously not so much in this preview. Um, however, if I ran Scarfed Hydreigon like I did the first battle, I could just U-turn out on Mimic you for free, break the disguise, and get a uh, complete switch into Mawile, bring him negative one, and then I'm like winning that scenario. And so to me, I thought it'd be really weird to lead a Mimic you on a pivot heavy team. Um, however, he did it. <laughs> and so I get the Intimidate off. And he actually SDs, which, um, that's something. Uh, based on that, I should have Dark Pulse. However, I expected him to play rough just because, you know, Swords Dancing early, like, it's risky and it's a little bold. Um, and I admit I was definitely trying to play off of how Zex is as a person or, like, as a battler in general, which, which he's a little bit more passive. Um, and so I get out into Maul while. I also picked this because I can live any one hit from a plus one Mimikyu. And so I Mega Evolve, he burns his Z on me and brings me down to 75 and I break this uh, disguise. And so pretty much I knew it's, um, the battle is looking pretty grim at this point in time already because Mawile can no longer just like take one hit and kill something uh, and then I'm still having to sack something for this Mimikyu. And so I switch out into Dre because I know he was going to Shadow Claw because he couldn't play rough because I'd live. And then I, I fire off a Dark Pulse, which does close to half. I don't flinch. He hits the play rough and knocks out the Hydreigon. And so then I can go out into Bulu, which would live any one hit from Mimikyu and get a lot of its health back. Um, and I did expect him to go Plume, but I really couldn't make that prediction. And so I just Horn Leech. And so at this point in time, I want to see what he's going to do. I'm expecting Strength Sap, so I just go for a substitute. Uh, and sure enough, he does go for Strength Sap, so I'm free to fire off a Nature's Madness, hit him for half, and then he actually has Hidden Power or Fire, I believe. It might have been Ice. Probably Fire for the Maul While. And so he hits me with that, shows that uh, he can break my subs, which I expected him to. But I don't know if it's Ice or Fire, so I can't freely switch out into Needle King. And I'm just going to sub again, because again, I'm going to expect him to Strength Sap. Um, once again, kind of playing off Zex as a battler, always trying to get the health back. Um, and it was free for him to do it, so it makes sense. So this isn't me like saying something negative, for the record. <laughs> um, and then I can go into Slow Bro, because I'm going to resist either HP Ice or HP Fire. And he actually goes for another Strength Sap. And it heals a pretty good chunk from Slow Bro. And that side, I can just double because I expected him to go into Gligar and potentially sweep him. Um, but he didn't, so he goes into Megalodios and he fires, and fires off an Earthquake. Now it's the battle's crew is no long. Hold up. This turn, I go slow, bro, because I wanted to see what kind of hidden power damage would do to me, and I can force out with the potential Psychic. And so at this point, I'm like, okay, he's probably going to go Gligar, because last time we played, he did to go Gligar into Kuhn. And so I double into Maul while. Now at this point, I'm like, okay, I want to scout to see what this Latios would do to me. I'm expecting it to be EQ. And he is. And so that brings out with the eject button um, into my top of Bulu. I just choose to go to because I don't know what else my Latios might have. He might have Ice Beam. Uh, and then I miss a Nature's Madness, which isn't super big, but I was probably planning on pivoting into Maul while then, allowing me to try and do some chipping, but it's fine. Go for a Nature's Madness, and then HP fires me. I just heal up a little bit with the Grassy Terrain. Double into Slow Bro. He Strength Saps again. Vile Plume just proving to be really annoying, but um, it, it's ultimately not doing that much. 
And I expect him to switch here straight into Kuhn on the Ice Beam, but he doesn't. And then he actually goes into Megalodios on the Ice Beam. Um, I guess he probably expected Psychic. And then I, you know, missed my Toxic, but it doesn't matter because it was hitting Plume. I go to switch into Nidoking, and then I get hit by a Giga Drain. But at this point, I think I Earth Power or Ice Beam probably put up rocks. Psych. Um, <laughs> just for trying to chip down like Plume every time it comes in early game. So he actually runs Suicune. I think he has the exact same set that he ran the first battle. And that's kind of on me because I expected Zex to bring something different. Um, to be fair, it is different EVs. It's max HP and max Bidef. I knew he wasn't going to try and speed creep me. And so my Bulu is actually back to just like speed creeping, no speed, Suicune. Um, but I expected him to bring a different Suicune set because I very easily handled it in our first battle. However, he brought the same exact set. Toxic sub protect scald, just pretty much the <laughs> the most cancerous Suicune set you can have, to be fair, but it works. Um, and yeah, so I get a little bit of recovery back, and I go into top of Bulu to scout for the, yep, the scald, we get the full set. And now I can actually horn leech. But he's going to protect first to scout and get poison damage, which um, I'm not going to lie. I was starting to get a little frustrated just by the <laughs> toxics and protects and the um, stalling that he was putting down on me when he could probably go out into Latios and do um, whatever he wanted to my team at this point. But that's okay. Um, so he takes out my Needle King. Um, Tapu Bulu, he's just going to be able to protect once again uh which i just saw because i knew he was going to go for the protect because of, you know why not with the sweet coon and then he's going to go into phyla plume and i think i hit this nature's madness hit another one and i want to let myself die down so i can ice punch kill with Mawile. while and so at this point it's um you know really not in my favor but we've got Violet plume down and actually minior can still sweep his team because sweet coon's not um high enough health Plus, I can burn the Z on like Latios or Kuhn or Gligar um, because there's no more Violet Plume. And so uh, he close combats me. And I actually made a really big misplay here because I think I Kelt Shield down Minior and Cobalion had a chance to kill me if I was Shields down. I may actually have to hold up, bring this up for you. If I had shields down, so I had like the 60 defense or whatever, um, Terrakion would kill me. However, I, you know, obviously have the shields up, the meteor form, and I expected him to be scarfed at this point, and he was locked in the close combat, which I actually did, you know, A7, and I was actually a lot bulkier than this set, and so I should have, um, pretty much had I... Shell smashed here. I had a really good chance to break. It depends on, like, because I'm Rocky MZ, which now Gligar would have been the target for it. And, like, Z Stone Edge. Pretty much I would have had to go up to plus four, which would have been fine because Gligar can't do anything to Mimikyu. Or, excuse me, to Minior. And then I'd burn the Z and then I'd be able to kill it. Um, so, that's how I should have played this, but because I miscalced having the shields down, I decide I have to go into Slowbro. Um, and I think he just sacks off Latios to uh, an Ice Beam here. Oops, went backwards. Sacks off Latios to an Ice Beam after Dragon Clawing me for Chip. And then he goes Mimikyu. And another situation where he shouldn't SD here <laughs> because if I get a Scald Burn... Uh, again, with my bulkier Minior, I'd be able to Shell Smash. But he's probably thinking, and, and I think I actually would have lived Shell Smash into Shell Sneak. Uh, and so then it depends if, like, Gligar could literally touch me or not, like with Earthquake um, or not. But he Swords Dances because, like, he could have, I think Shadow, I mean, I'm not running the Kelks, but I think Shadow Claw would kill Bro from here. And even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Um,. That he probably should have just Shadow Clawed, and then he'd have a, a chance to probably go plus two against Minior on the Shell Smash or something, like, or just attack me twice. Um, 
a lot more options there, but he does decide to SD. And I scald, and I don't get the burn. So this is another... <laughs> I know this is me kind of like weaseling situations in, but it does actually matter if you look at it. Because right here, had I got the scald burn, he now goes from 11 to 5%. Um, or he actually would have died on this turn. So right here. I was scalded, and he would have went from 11 to 5%. And then on this turn, he would have died to burn. So then it would be Minior versus whatever Mon he wants to go into. Uh, Terrakion would have to risk, even if, if he's running Stone Edge, he would have to risk a Stone Edge miss. Or I'd have to risk the miss, because I think um, Terrakion probably kills with Stone Edge. It does. So then I'd have the chance to, if he even goes Terrakion, I feel like he would have went Kuhn, which I can't get burned with the shields up. Um, and I'd be able to get a free Shell Smash. But instead, now he gets to fire off a player off and do 84. Whereas if he was burned, he wouldn't have lived. Uh, and then I... So I have to go for the Shell Smash. Which, um, pretty much banking on him not having Sneak. But he does, so I lose. And so, I'm not... I'm not saying I would have won the battle. I think I really, really put myself on the, the heels when he brought Mimikyu as a lead. However, I do think... Had a couple of those plays, if I would have been smart against that Terrakia with the close combat, or had I burned the Mimikyu, I would have actually had a chance. Uh, again, I don't remember, or I don't know what the Gligar set is, um, but he would have had to risk a Stone Edge, if he even has Stone Edge, because Rock Slide, because that was a lot bulkier. I think I had like 152 HP, and so like as you can see, Rock Slide wouldn't have killed. So he would have had to risk a Stone Edge hit, and then obviously I would have been able to, um, like he would be dead. EQ would have killed him if I would have gotten another plus two, which, it de again, depends completely on what that Gligar could do to me. Um, I'd be able to just get another plus two and then burn a Z. And then Suicune dies at that point, um, especially because his was Spadef. Um, but plus two Stone Edge would have been... Because I had rocks up, plus two stone edge would have killed. Right there. He could have protected the turn, but I also could have shell smashed. So, yeah. I don't want it to be a pity party. <laughs> uh, it was a really good game for Zex. He definitely caught me off guard with the leading Mimikyu. Um, but I do think, likewise, when he beat, or when I beat him, I think it was 3 or 4 0, the, the differential just doesn't explain how the battle actually was. Because if I were to get a burn, I probably would have ended up potentially sweeping back um or losing like at a 1-0 if he was like toxic with Gligar and hit the toxic so um I, i'd say i got unlucky but i needed to get lucky to put myself back into the situation after the battle it's not like zex was ever lucky he he played it very stand or like as you should and I didn't, <laughs> and it's fine, um, so really good game to Zex, the whole playoffs were all very much, if you got, like, it's all IBL people watching, so you already know the outcome, but either way, I'll probably put up a video on how I think my season went as a whole, um, probably tomorrow, we'll see what time I actually get this out, and then what time I get the next video out tomorrow, so... Yeah, again, sorry for the, the, the delay. It's kind of a little past the battle, but either way, I'm not really salty. Um, I definitely was during the battle, um, and that's, you know, just how Zex likes to play. He likes to chip you down with, like, Toxics and Protects and Substitutes and Strength Sap on Violet Plume, but those are all legitimate strategies, so you really can't be mad for it. Um, that's just how the game goes, and that's how it went here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um... I hope I don't sound too salty because I am really happy for him. I like to help him build and he helps me build. So all in all, he's a really great guy. It's just uh, you hate to lose. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.